Hey everybody, ready to get connected and get this party started. Okay, we're really going to review what a connection point and a connection party are. I've had that in other classes, other videos, but let's get into these. First, the connection party. What is it? It's a setup for the central MQ connection associated with the authorized connection profile. A what? The Fed now connection, just leave it at that. Who sets it up? The Federal Reserve Banks based on information that is given to them during onboarding or requested from the FRB Support Center. What does it do? Well, it maps to one or more participant profiles, allowing messages to flow to and from the FedNow service based on permissions enabled by the participant profile. I know we're talking about connection party though, okay? So how is it identified? Well, the connection party ID is usually a routing number or an ETI of the participant or service provider. Now, it is used in what we call the business application header message for every ISO 2022 message exchanged with the service. It tells us who it's going to and coming from. What relationship is there? Well, there's a one-to-one -one relationship between an authorized connection profile and a connection party. Remember, authorized connection par uh, parties, authorized connection profiles, they work together. Then connection point. Now, what is this? This is a group or a queue of endpoints maintained by a connection party that enables communication with the FedNow service. Well, who sets this up? This one's also set up by the Federal Reserve Banks. It's also done based on information given during onboarding or done because you requested, you know, from the FRB Services Support Center. Now, why is a connection point used? It's used for connection parties that operate multiple data centers, allowing them to map queues to specific data centers and enabling data center affinity. What? I'll explain it better soon, hold on. How's it actually maintained? Well, a participant or a service provider that owns a connection party, they get a name the connection point and they can name and configure what we call queues that are outgoing from the FedNow service. You see, the connection point ID, in this case, it's gonna be generated by the FedNow service. What's the relationship here? It is actually what we call a one-to-many relationship. That means that the connection party, the connection point, there can be one connection party with multiple connection points. So you're ready to get this simplified so it's easier to understand and not so complicated. When it comes to the connection party and the connection points, let's start with the connection party. A connection party is really just a group of one or more participants that share a common connection to the FedNow service. It could just be one and you know the party is your connection to it. A connection party acts as like a hub or the connection for sending and receiving messages on behalf of the participants it represents. So it really is going to be like a service provider, okay? Now, each connection party does have a unique identifier because it's a unique connection, which is typically a routing number of the participant that owns or is part of that connection party. Now, connection parties, they are actually configured and managed by the Federal Reserve Banks, but you give them the information for that to be able to work. And it's just really so that they know this is the connection that goes to this routing number. But then there are connection points. Now a connection point is a specific endpoint within a connection party. So one party that connects the FedNow service with a lot of different endpoints. Each connection party can have multiple connection points. Probably does, especially if it's a service provider which can be used to distribute traffic or messages to provide you know, redundancy in case of outages too, in case you have multiple ones set up. Now, connection points are named by the participant or the provider that owns the connection party. And the connection points, they are configured, and like I said, they're managed by the Federal Reserve Banks. They're really important just to make sure the Fed knows who to send and who they're receiving from. So what is the relationship between connection parties and connection points? Each connection party has one or more connection point. You're just gonna see that, okay? If you have a connection party, there's at least one connection point, probably gonna be more. Now, each connection point belongs to a single connection party. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. And again, there can be multiple connection points though. Uh, you wanna simplify this even more? First, the connection party, like I said, just imagine it as a service provider that connects multiple participants to the FedNow service. Why don't we just call it that? Because that'd be too easy. Okay, next though, 
The service provider, though, acts as the connection party. Same thing, two names. Providing as a central hub for sending and receiving messages on behalf of participants or connection endpoints that they represent. So think of the connection party more of like, let's say, a central office building that has multiple tenants, each representing a participant within the FedNow service. Connection party, multiple tenants. So what's the connection point? The connection point is the multiple tenants. With the connection party, each participant is a designated connection point, similar to having, let's say, a specific office or a specific workstation within that office building or where you connect into the whole. And these connection points, they serve as the individual endpoints for each participant, allowing them to communicate directly with the FedNow service through a connection party. What that really is, is a lot of complicated stuff where we have more terms and definitions that are in the FedNow service operating procedures that equal to service providers and participants. But connection parties and connection points are crucial in enabling seamless and secure instant payments through the FedNow service. So if you hear these terms, that's really what they are. They're there to help make sure that we have communication between participants in the FedNow service and ensuring that transactions are processed efficiently and securely. And I know we got a lot of terminology, but the truth is connection parties are basically just service providers who work with con multiple connection points. And the connection points are the individual routing numbers that are sending and receiving FedNow messages. You're, again, you're going to hear this terminology. That's what it is. And that's enough on connecting. I'm, I'm feeling a little disconnected. So class dismissed.